Triad MLS Training, Matrix 102, Part 2, Search Instructions. Topics for this session are searching for vacant land listings, multifamily, and residential listings. You'll learn how to add searchable data fields and how to use the matrix multi-select fields, text fields, and location fields for city, county, zip code, and recorded subdivision names. On the matrix dashboard, using search in the responsive menu bar, you may select from any property type choices or select cross property, which allows you to search for more than one property type at a time. To search for listings that are vacant land or vacant lots, use vacant land. Regardless of the property type selected, many of the search data fields are labeled the same and function the same. And at the bottom of every property type search, you will find clear, which will erase all entries, including the statuses. Matches. This is count on the fly. As data is entered into the system, the matching numbers will display. Map. This allows a link to the matrix map, which will display all the matching properties on a map and then the link to results. By using this or simply pressing the enter key on your keyboard will display the matching properties in a report view. All property types by default have active selected as a status. Using the county search field, type a county, then select that county from the pick list as seen here, Randolph County. All vacant land results will be in the active status and in Randolph County. You may search for more than one county. Simply type the county and select from the pick list. Acres. Using this search field, typing five plus the matching 146 properties will have at least five acres. Typing five minus and the matching properties will have less than five acres. While five 25, the matching properties, vacant land, vacant lots, all in Randolph or Davidson County between 5 to 25 acres. Using the results tab or pressing the enter key on your keyboard will display the agent single line report. Regardless of the property type search, this agent single line report allows for columns to be sorted by clicking or touching any column header. As performed here by sorting acres, all searches in Matrix have the action item Save, which allows you to save searches for your future use. Save searches automatically update throughout the day based on the search criteria entered. And there are three options available. To learn how to use the new auto email, please watch Prospecting Functions videos found in Matrix Help. New Save Search. This allows for searches to be accessed for your use at your convenience. Using new safe search, then name the search. So this vacant land in Randolph and Davidson County, once saved, will be in your matrix saved searches list. The Triad MLS user may also save a search for a specific client by linking to a contact if already in the matrix system or you can use create a new contact to enter your client's information. By using enable as a favorite on the home tab and then save, this save search will now be placed on your matrix dashboard in the my favorite searches widget. And this allows for 10 save searches to be on your dashboard. Simply click on a save search and be taken directly to the updated matching results. If the name search was linked to a specific client using My Matrix and Contacts, then open the contact link for that client and then use Searches. Multifamily searches. This is for duplex, triplex, quads, and apartment buildings in the system that are for sale. Many of the search fields are labeled the same and they will function the same. City. The city search works just like the county search off of a directory, a pick list. You may search for multiple cities. The results displayed in the single line report. Remember, all property types may be saved. 
Save Searches allows for ease of use for repeated searches. Save Searches are automatically updating throughout the day and they can be accessed here in My Matrix Saved Searches. My Last Run column. This displays the date you, the Triad MLS user, last looked at the search results for those saved searches. Back to the menu bar and search. For residential searches, there are a couple of options, but all Triad MLS training uses residential detail search. Residential listings have the most data fields upon entry and therefore the most searchable fields. Scrolling to the bottom of any property type search, including this residential detail search, you may use additional fields add and add searchable fields to your page. Once added, the search fields will remain unless removed by the user. Many search fields in Matrix are multi-select fields. Using the control key or the command key on your, on your keyboard allows for multi-selection. One of the most commonly used multi-search fields is subtype. When entering a property, the listing agent must identify if the property is either stick site built, meaning the property was built on site, manufactured, or of modular construction. Making no selection, the results will include all subtypes. If subtype modular or stick site built is selected, structure type results will display. Again, no selection for structure type, the results will include all. In this example, subtype stick site built and no structure type selected. The matching active listings equal 969, but by adding the selection of house in the structure type, the matching number changes to 822. All multi-select fields have this choice as well, and or not by default, or is always selected. To rule out something in the multi-select list, select it and then use not. So the matching results that are stick site built houses dropped from 822 to 137 when the house choice was ruled out. Look at the screen and the selections made for this buyer. The statuses of active and coming soon no show have been selected. Stick site built houses. The buyer wants at least a two-car garage, but is not interested in any carports. So using the garage carport description menu, selecting the carport choices, and then not to rule out any carports. The buyer also needs at least 1,200 square feet, so using total heated square feet, 1,200 plus has been entered. And at least one fireplace, another text field, one plus price. Using this field, please note that the thousands are already built in. Typing 300-400 for 300000 to $400,000 homes. The bedroom requirement is at least three, so three plus in that text field. There are 17 properties that match the criteria entered so far. Total baths, please pay very close attention. If the number two is entered, then all of the matching properties will have exactly two full baths. If two plus is entered, the results will have a minimum of two full baths. While typing 2.1 plus, the matching properties will have a minimum of two full baths and at least one half bath. But typing 2.5 plus, the matching properties must have at least two full baths and at least five half bathrooms. Please be very careful when using the bath data fields. Typing wrong information will result in you're not finding all the potential properties for your clients. Now adding to this search the requirement of this buyer wanting homes with at least two and a half baths. So total baths 2.1 plus. It's time to talk about where this buyer wants to live. Some of the location search fields have already been discussed. If city is used and only one city is typed and selected, then the results will now be in that selected city. 
In this example, active and coming soon status have been selected. The price range is $200,000 to $250,000 and you're looking for properties in High Point, Archdale, and Trinity. Well, in this example, active and coming soon no-show status, $200,000 to $250,000, but the properties would be in Randolph, Davidson, or Montgomery counties. Zip code. Zip code does not work off of a directory. This is a text field box as seen here, typing multiple zip codes, each separated with a comma and no spacing. Now let's talk about subdivision names. Always enter the county or the counties for the subdivision or subdivisions you need the listings to be within. In the triad, more than one county will have subdivisions with the same name. Selecting the county from the pick list. The subdivision search field functions is a directory pick list just like county and city. One option is to use this icon and all the recorded subdivisions in that county appear in alphabetical order. Select one subdivision or hold down the control key or command key on your keyboard to select multiple subdivision names. Then use the OK button. But the most commonly used function for subdivision name is using the pick list. Here's another very important search tip when using the subdivision name field. When trying to locate listings in large developments like Adams Farms, Meadowlands, Ardmore, and Grandover, with several sections to each of these subdivisions, it is much easier to use the matrix wildcard, which is the asterisk. For example, in Guilford County, typing in the subdivision asterisk Adams Farm asterisk, and then selecting in blue what mirrors what has been typed, and all the listings will be in all sections of Adams Farm. You may select multiple subdivisions in the same county, or you may use subdivisions in different counties, as in here, Guilford County, all sections of Adams Farm, and in Forsyth County, asterisk Ardmore asterisk to include all sections of Ardmore. One last subdivision name search example. This buyer is interested in active listings in either Adams Farm, located in Guilford County, Swans Gate, located in Davidson County, or Buena Vista, which is in Forsyth County. Using the wildcard search for the subdivision name, and the results will be in all sections of these subdivisions. Remember that you may sort any of the column headers. Any questions about matrix search functions, please feel free to email helpdesk at triadmls.com.